it's my uh, pleasure to uh, introduce uh, the next presentation, which is the uh, Zero G Summit, Shuttle Diplomacy in the New Space Age. And uh, I want to ask you to welcome on stage uh, Namira Salim, who is the founder and chairperson of the Space Trust. Please. Thank you, Dr. Jean-Yves Le Gaulle, for giving me the honor to address this distinguished audience. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed colleagues, friends. Am I too? Okay. Thank you. I'd like to start my presentation with a one-minute introductory video about Zero G Summit, that is Zero Gravity Summit. Since the birth of human spaceflight, astronauts have been captivated in space by the Earth's mystical blue aura, which appears beyond political boundaries, or the overview effect, which returns them to Earth with a dramatic paradigm shift to advocate peace for all mankind. Apollo astronauts discovered the Earth from space, from the moon, when they first stepped on the moon. Neil Armstrong said, when men from planet Earth first set foot upon the moon, they came in peace for all mankind. Today, the survival of mankind depends upon international cooperation on the peaceful uses of space for all humanity. The world has been ushered into a new space age that is commercialization or democratization of space, which opens the final frontier to all sectors, encouraging public-private partnerships in an increasingly complex space environment triggering a new space economy which contributed over $300 billion in total revenue in 2015 alone. With commercial space products and services and commercial infrastructure and support, support industries topping the chart. However, for the development of a sustainable space economy, it is crucial that all nations and all sectors have equal access to space as we evolve into interplanetary beings from the edge of space to low Earth orbit to the Moon, Mars and beyond. So why not draw inspiration from Henry Kissinger's shuttle diplomacy to actual space shuttle diplomacy in a new space age by opening space to world leaders and, opening op and having the first peace summit in space by 2030. Therefore, our lead initiative, an annual high level zero G summit, that is zero gravity summit starting this year will mobilize world leaders, space actors, peacemakers, youth, and the civil society to utilize space as a driver for addressing global challenges while contributing to the UniSpace Plus 50 process under the space diplomacy pillar. Accordingly, our vision is to propel Zero-G Summit 2030 in orbit in support of Space 2030 and beyond to spearhead innovative diplomacy and conflict resolution in space. I believe at the advent of democratization of space, Zero-G Summit 2030 will galvanize our common humanity in space, and it is closer than we think. The idea of the Zero-G Summit has been endorsed by a former head of state, a prominent NASA astronaut, and three cosmonauts at the ISS. Zero-G Summit 2030 is being observed by UN-USA, being presented during the Unispace Plus 50 process, presented to the 54th session of the Scientific and Technical Subcommittee of COPUS, and being recommended as a new item on the space government ag governance agenda towards Space 2030. The response to Zero-G Summit from the space industry has been overwhelming and it is being implemented by a sophisticated team of consultants and futurists under the thought leadership of Space Trust. The International Space Station has become a beacon for international cooperation and peacemaking in orbit via peaceful uses of space science and technology on Earth. 
Moreover, with humanity evolving into interplanetary beings, spacefaring and new space nations are expanding cooperation via human and robotic missions, making space inclusive for all. Accordingly, convening a zero-g summit in space is only within grasp, for which deep, sp deep space habitats and private space stations make a fitting launching pad. The inaugural Zero-G Summit 2017 will be launched during the UN General Assembly week in September this year. It will present an exhibit incorporating augmented and virtual reality interactive apps to provide a fully immersive experience in the space environment. We aim to secure the presence of at least two heads of state, Nobel Peace Prize laureates, astronauts, religious leaders, celebrities, and futurists. Zero-G Summit is a global movement for which we will mobilize civil society and youth. We would like to see at least two major spacefaring nations like the US and Russia and the following five countries representing a population of over 650 million, out of which I count Monaco, the United Arab Emirates and Pakistan as my adopted and native countries respectively. I also hope that partners of the ISS and leading space agencies will join this initiative. The Zero G Summit will, has created also like a declaration that we will present to the delegates. And the idea is to recognize space as the new frontier for peace, to mobilize spacefaring and new space nations towards the first Zero G Summit in space by 2030, towards Space 2030, to support SDG Goal 16, peace, justice, and strong institutions, to spearhead shuttle, uh, space shuttle diplomacy in a new space age, to benefit all humanity via peaceful applications of outer space, and most importantly, to avoid earthly conflicts from preventing international cooperation in space. Now I would like to play a one minute exclusive vid video which we received from three cosmonauts at the ISS to endorse space as the new frontier the for peace. The taking view of the Earth that we see from the orbit is proof of how important it is to use to space to unit humidity beyond national borders of the uh, development of space, science, and technology. The International Space Station is a unique partnership of many nations where we all work together to advance both the human condition and the human spirit. In space, we serve together for the great good of humanity. We are happy to join you here today in making space the new frontier for peace. Российские члены экипажа Международной космической станции Олег Кононенко, Михаил Корниенко и Сергей Волков. So I hope that we can soon have a similar message from NASA astronauts at the ISS. Uh, we've made several recommendations during our past presentations uh, in the space industry. And I believe that space actors must become the stimulus behind the political will for recognizing peacemaking in space and peaceful uses of space as a priority on the global political agenda. Therefore, Space Trust recommends that all sectors collectively harness the power of space to unite nations towards innovative space diplomacy, consider Zero-G Summit 2030 during Unispace Plus 50 process, and to consider it as a new item on the agenda of the Scientific and Technical Subcommittee of COPIUS. Mobilize member states of USA, observer organizations, space agencies, ISS partners, astronauts, and civil society to advocate the first peace summit in orbit by 2030, secure state-level endorsements in support of Zero-G Summit 2030 from every member state or of USA and generally other countries, leverage annual Zero-G Summits on Earth via space industry participation and public-private partnerships, spearhead space shuttle diplomacy and international cooperation towards Space 2030, Establish collaborative avenues of peacemaking on Earth, in orbit, and beyond to benefit all nations. Convene the first Zero-G Summit 2030 in space to support SDG goal 16 peace, justice, strong institutions. Resolve historic conflicts in, or in orbit and even combat terrorism from a universe for the benefit of mankind universally. In conclusion, space must be recognized and implemented as the new frontier for peace on the national and global policy agendas towards space 2030. Now I would like to make a special announcement that um, our first mission in space will be a nanosatellite, which we plan to launch by 2020 to broadcast universal messages of peace in the voices of world leaders and peacemakers. And I encourage all states, nations to participate in this mission by mobilizing endorsements from their leaders and, and heads of state. 
Next is a brief video about the highlights um, of several presentations. I believe what is at stake in space is the huge potential it holds to galvanize our common humanity and to use it as a tool for sustainable peacemaking on Earth. Therefore, at the advent of commercialization of space, we seek to open space to world leaders by advocating the first Zero G Summit or Zero Gravity Peace Summit in Space by 2030 in support of Unispace Plus 50 towards Space 2030. So Space Trust was inaugurated in 2015 by Prince Albert of Monaco, where I'm based since 20 years. And we, we were off to a good start and I'm very, very um, happy to note the, the support I'm receiving from the space industry. And I'm really grateful for that. In the end, I sin I'm sincerely grateful to IEF for their kind invitation and convey my special thanks to Dr. Jean-Yves Legault and the most wonderful team at IEF, uh, Julia and uh, Isabella, especially uh, Valerie, for this great opportunity and all the participants for being here today. I'm looking forward to our future cooperation as, a, as an Alliance member. Thank you so much. So, um, I don't know if anyone has any questions, but I'm sorry that, uh, that we had some technical glitches today, so I wasn't as well prepared as I should have been. But if anyone has any questions, I'm here. It's too far-fetched, I think, for people's <laughs> imaginations. Oh, okay. Have any world leaders actually said that they will be willing to take the risk to fly to orbit? Yes, I started with my own president, the former president of Pakistan. I interviewed him for 40 minutes, uh, President Pervez Musharraf. And I first picked him because he led the war on terror, which is what really messed up my own country. So uh, he was very supportive and, and we had a great interview. He thought it was a great idea and he's done a lot for space in Pakistan. So he had the mindset for something like that. And that's my first interview. Do you, do you have a uh, uh, charter flight deal with Blue Origin yet? No, I've been asking them and they keep telling me they're not taking any bookings, but... Uh, <laughs> But I have been a founder astronaut of Virgin Galactic since 11 years. I've prepaid my ticket and I was launched uh, personally by Richard Branson in 2006 in Dubai and I was behind that whole uh, investment campaign and everything. So been part of that scene for a while now and, and, and hoping to, you know, get there soon. Yeah. So anyway, thank you very much again. I appreciate it.